morning guys happy happy saturday happy vlogmas day 23 happy christmas eve eve uh we are actually having a fairly lazy day around here today which brings to mind the question that was not even a full thought but which brings to mind the question why are you putting on makeup if you're having a lazy day well because i have once again become very hyper aware of what happens on camera and when i look on camera i'm usually not wearing makeup like if you if you watch my vlogmas videos like nine times out of ten i'm not wearing makeup uh that's because i don't go anywhere and i don't really do anything anymore um, but that kind of brings to mind something i i was thinking about that this morning and i'm not going to go too much into this because this is going to be an actual video um in the coming year, in the coming like weeks, months, whatever, about how your makeup needs and like your makeup routine kind of changes and grows with you and evolves with you. I just, I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore, which is kind of weird considering that my channel is about makeup. Uh, I should probably be wearing more. I do still really love makeup and I do still try stuff out. I just don't on a daily basis i just don't wear it very much anymore and i'm wearing it today because like i said i am aware that when i'm on camera i'm usually not wearing makeup and i kind of feel like i should probably you know do something about that but i wonder how dark that is not very dark okay i'm using this uh ulta palette this was a free gift with purchase but my aunt gave me this she just passed it on to me because she wasn't going to use it um, I really like it, but this I put in my quick makeup drawer because honestly everything that I need is in here. Uh, but I haven't used all of the shades in this little palette here. Anyway, back to what I was saying, and this brush is terrible for this. I'm going to need to do that with my finger and kind of smooth that out. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yeah, your makeup kind of changes with you. I don't wear a lot of makeup anymore is what I was saying. Uh, but back to what I was saying before that brought me to all this. We're kind of having a lazy day today. Um, honestly, really not doing a whole lot of anything. Which is not very different from any other day. But honestly, I have nothing to do today. We do have a turkey that my... <laughs> so let me tell you about this turkey fiasco. That's not really a fiasco, but it was a dramatic word, so I thought I'd use it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, so my husband got a turkey from his uh his daytime job you should know he works two jobs if you've been here long enough you know that already anyway his um job number one gave him a turkey for christmas great fantastic uh he tells me this morning i got up this morning it was sitting in the sink i came to check on him while he was getting ready for work this morning and he said i'm gonna throw that turkey out and i said why and he said well i left it in my car overnight so when I brought it in, I looked down and it was dripping blood everywhere. I said, oh, okay, but you're going to cook it. He said, no, we're not going to cook it. I'm going to throw it out. No, you're not understanding. It's, it's, def it's defrosting. It's going to have juices and, and blood and stuff come out of it. That's what happens when you defrost poultry and other meats. That's what happens. <laughs> And he said, well, I mean, if you think you want to still use it, I just really don't want to get sick. And I was like, well, I mean, yeah, I think we'll keep it. And I opened it up. It's still frozen on the inside. So it's totally fine. But anyway, so now we've decided to keep this turkey. But I was going to put it in the oven. I've already taken it out of the package. And that's when we realized it was still frozen on the inside. So now it's just sitting in my oven with the oven turned off because I can't put it in my fridge. Because I don't have any room in my fridge to continue to thaw it. So like safely because you're supposed to thaw your turkey in the fridge that's the way to safely do it sorry concentration 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 um yeah that's the way you're supposed to safely thaw poultry i think really any meat i totally don't i totally like if i'm taking out some chicken for dinner or something like that i take it out it goes in the sink that's where it thaws that's the way my parents did it. We never got sick. I think it's fine. Uh, but this turkey, turkey I'm a little bit different with. 
I like to do that very safely because it's it's a whole bird. It's bigger. I don't know. I just feel like there's more potential to get sick with a large bird than like a chicken breast. Anyway, I don't know. I'm probably making like no sense. But yeah, I don't have any room in my fridge to continue flying this turkey like the right way. So it is sitting in my oven. The oven is turned off. And that's where it's thawing because I didn't want to leave it out on my counter either because that didn't seem safe. So I am now waiting for a turkey to thaw so that I can cook it. So that's what's going on here today. That's like the most, the most eventful thing that's happening here today is that I have a turkey that I can't cook right now because it's not thawed completely. And <laughs> there are still things that I need to get out of the turkey, but I can't get to it because it's still frozen inside the turkey. So that's what's going on today. Isn't that a little bit ridiculous? <laughs> that that is the most eventful thing that is happening in my home today. But it is Christmas Eve Eve. I'm sure I'm going to find some other stuff to talk to you guys about. I mean, surely I would have to. Uh, I'm going to take you with me now and we're going to walk out of the bathroom. See? See? Like a no makeup makeup look. You know what? That brings me to something else that I, wow, really, really dark. Uh, you're not going to see me for a second and then you're going to see me and then you're not going to see me again. Uh, so that brings me to something else that I recently watched a video. I don't even know the girl's name. Um, I was subscribed to her for a little bit. Now you can't see me. I'm up here. Yeah, she, I was subscribed to her for a little bit and then I was watching some of her videos like, yeah, I really don't really care for her style that much so I got subscribed because that's what I do uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll check you out and if I like like what I see I'll subscribe to you but then after you know a little bit of time if I'm really not watching your videos I'm I unsubscribed that's I just feel that's the right thing to do I don't want to be subscribed if I'm not actually giving you views I just I, I just think that's the right thing to do I don't know uh, because then you start thinking, well, I've got all these subscribers, but I don't have the views that match the subscribers. I just, I'm just trying to even out what you're doing here. Anyway, she made this video that I think it was titled, like, things that YouTubers do that we don't like. Like, we as an audience don't like. And one of the things that she said was that she was tired of seeing no makeup makeup looks because it seems like a lie. Because who honestly does no makeup makeup hi <laughs> I totally do every day is a no makeup makeup look for me I rarely go full glam anymore because I just don't I don't have a reason to go full glam if you know you're if you go to work every day then yeah sure do it wing them line what what <laughs> What did I just say? Wing that eyeliner, baby. I mean, I don't need to. I don't have a reason to do that. I just want to look fresh. That's all I need. I just need to even out my skin tone a little bit, even out my complexion, give myself a little bit of color, make myself feel human, and I'm good. That's all I need. I just need to know that I can, if I have to go to the store for five minutes, I can go out knowing that I don't look like a troll. That's all I need. So... People do no makeup makeup looks. Anyway, I've already been talking for close to 10 minutes, so I'm going to wrap this up that way that I can talk to you guys in a little bit if I need to, and I'm sure I will. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so just in case you were wondering, this is what a lazy Saturday looks like. <laughs> we have a palette on the floor with our big pillow animals. We got Tic Tac Croc and Foxy. We got our color blankie, and we're watching cartoons. That is a lazy Saturday. And we got our bowl of cereal. Like, is this not classic Saturday morning, you guys? Don't you wish <laughs> that this was your life again? <laughs> Don't you wish that you could go back to Saturday morning cartoons? Wasn't that awesome? Sit on the floor with your bowl of cereal and watch your cartoons, and you were in heaven. I mean, how simplistic. So jealous. Okay, guys, I fell into like a YouTube binge watching coma type situation here. I 
have been on YouTube. I'm watching Ears to You right now. I just binged like all of Jessica Braun's Vlogmas. Got all caught up on that. Um, excuse me. <coughs> now I'm trying to get caught up on Ears to You because, like I said, you guys, I have not been watching YouTube very much lately. I'm trying to keep my internet usage down. But so hard. I miss, I miss doing this. I miss just sitting down and watching YouTube. I used to watch it every single day. Like every single day I was on YouTube and I caught up on every single one of the people that I watch. But today it's just been like an all out binge fest and I've been sitting here since 10 o'clock this morning and it is now, what time is it? Um, 145 so it is nearly two o'clock I have been doing this all freaking day I think I might need to go um, live my life or something I don't know <laughs> but the the little one he's been back and forth he's out there watching Mickey Mouse and then he'll come in here and watch a little bit of vlogs with me and then he'll go back out there and then I'll go out there and watch a little bit of Mickey Mouse with him and come back in here and watch my vlogs so we've been back and forth all day between like cartoons and vlogs cartoons and vlogs but, yeah, <laughs> they're in, uh, I mean, it's ears to you, so of course they're in Disney, and they're looking at all the Christmas decorations, and it makes me, oh, it makes me really happy. It makes me really, really happy. I can't wait to go back to Disney. We have planned that we will be going back in 2020. We, um... <laughs> we do not have the luxury of being able to go every year. I know a lot of people... A lot of Disney freaks like me go every single year. We just can't afford to do that. I wish we could, but it's just not in the cards for us. So our plan is to be able to go in 2020 because that is the big year. That is the big year. The little one will be five years old. He'll be old enough to, you know, really experience it. And it's the, what, the 50th? Gosh, no, it has to be, it has to be more than a 50th. I'm going to have to look it up again. I'm going to have to look it up right now. Hold on. Okay, no, I was right. It's the 50th anniversary. 2020 is the 50th. Well, yeah, I guess it makes sense now. Yeah, it makes sense now. Because Disney World was after Disneyland. So, yeah, got my Disney history, like, all discombobulated there. But yeah, it's their their 50th anniversary in the year 2020, and that's when they're supposed to. That's when they're trying to get all of this this new stuff done because they're trying to get it done by 2020 for the 50th anniversary celebration. So Star Wars Land is supposed to be done. Toy Story Land is actually supposed to be done pretty soon, I think. Um, they just did Pandora, so that's there. Um, there's some other new stuff that they're a lot of things that they just announced at D23 a couple of months ago all of the big stuff that they just announced at D23 is supposed to be done by 2020 so that's when we are planning on going back so we're saving up like our nickels and dimes to be able to go we'd be saving for a long time if we were only saving nickels and dimes <laughs> but that's our plan to go in 2020 so that's what I've been doing today. I've just been like watching vlogs. I need to do some edits here in a minute. Uh, I had to charge up my tablet though so that I can do that. I'll probably be doing edits for yesterday's vlog later this evening and uploading it later tonight because that's just the way it's going to work today. Um, my tablet is not charging very quickly anymore so it takes a little while to to get to the point where I can actually do stuff on it. So yeah, that's what's happening here. All right, the turkey is finally in the oven. It's like, I don't know, 2.45 this afternoon. Uh, turkey is in the oven. All I did, I rub it down with butter, salt, pepper, a little bit of onion powder, pop it in the oven at 2.75. It's going to stay there until it's done. I don't, I don't follow the directions on the turkey packaging because it'll tell you, like, you roast it for, like, two to five hours, depending on the weight, on, like, what, 3.25, something like that. We go low and slow. Low and slow is the way to go. Uh, that's the way my parents always did it. That's the way I know how to do it. So that's the way that I do it. Uh, but yeah, turkey is finally in the oven. I promise you I have washed my hands about 15 times in the past, 
I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. I am scared to death of salmonella poisoning, scared to death of it. So any kind of poultry, anytime I handle poultry, I, I'm going to have to like disinfect this entire kitchen now because <laughs> I'm scared to death of it. When I handle poultry, I have to, every time I touch it and I take my hands off of it, I have to wash my hands as soon as I take my hands off of it because I'm afraid I'm going to, you know, maybe I'm going to mindlessly scratch my face or, you know, rub my eye or something. Salmonella in the eyeball, not a good idea. Not a good idea. I had, it was a girl that I went to college with that ended up with salmonella in her eye because she was cooking and she didn't think, she wasn't thinking, and she rubbed her eye and <laughs> she got chicken juice salmonella in her eye. So, I'm scared to death of salmonella poisoning. So, yeah, I've just been washing my hands like a ton and they're probably going to dry out now. <laughs> so, I guess I'm going to have to lotion up really good tonight. But yeah, this this might actually be the end of today's vlog. I don't foresee very much else happening. I mean, of course, I'm not just going to say this is the end because who knows. But as far as I see it, this is probably going to be the end. So if it is, bye. If it's not, I'll see you in a couple of minutes. But probably bye. <laughs>